New 50. Yeah, yeah. Surrounded by homes. Yeah. Everywhere I'm at, everywhere I go. Uh-huh. I stay surrounded by hoes. Even when I'm trying to be on the go. I'm recognized by hoes. Keep y'all a It's gotta be because of the dough. It's got to be because of the dough. Because the damn show wasn't like this before. Uh-huh. Street, street, street. It wasn't like this before. Woo! Everywhere I'm at, everywhere I'm at. Well, um, happy new year, happy new year, happy new year to, to all. Um, I would first of all like to just wish everybody, including the haters, um, a fantastic 2012. I hope that your dreams come true. Um, 2012, <laughs> what, are, what are the positives, what are the potential negatives? Well, 2012 for me, um, I hope the economy gets better. Um, but 2012, you know, my dad, um, I just pray that God gives him strength, you know. Um, I pray that God gives me strength, you know, to, to continue the struggle. Um, Bully Cutter World, thank you so much for all the new subscribers. Um, many friends um, <laughs> and some enemies. Um, for whatever reason, um, that's the way it is. And um, when you're in the public eye, you know, you, you have to realize that um, not everybody's going to appreciate what you do. Um, I mean, I think in 2011, I think that my resolve was, um, was tested uh, quite seriously. Um, I, just, uh, I just hope that people can become more patient um, because there are good things happening. There's some really credible, brilliant advice, you know. My knowledge is getting stronger, the brand is getting stronger, uh, the products that are available are, you know, second to none. Um, you know, a lot of helpful uh, products, you know, for, from skin issues to eye problems to ear problems to joint problems to intestinal problems. Um, we're having a, a happier, healthier dog and a happier, healthier dog will bring a lot more love in your lives, you know. Um, I mean, all I want to just say is this, is that at the moment there seems to be fractions already um, splitting, you know, especially in Birmingham. Um, I don't want to challenge you directly. I'll leave it to the rest of the community. You know, but what I'll say to you is this, working with rejected dogs um, is not a, a fan's way of, of progressing. Are you a fan of the breed or what is your motive? Because if I can have dogs that I import, like Max, that I could have made thousands of pounds from by studying out, if I decide not to work with that dog, is it that I'm stupid or is it that I really care? Max is a dog, is a great dog, but for the quest of stabilizing the profile of this breed, not such a great dog. There were concerns of things that I mentioned about Trixie. Do you think I want to shoot myself in the foot? I don't. And those of you out there that gave me the confidence, that had the apparent experience with the breed, that gave me the assurance that it was just a nutritional issue, I know better. And so do you. You know, you have breeds like the Sharpe, you have breeds like the Neapolitan Mastiff, that there wasn't due care taken when there were certain attributes that presented themselves, such as entropia, such as skin issues, such as heart problems. We have a very strong breed, but I know for a fact now that pastid concerns are an absolute concern within this breed. And the further you breed away from it, the better for all, for the breed, and for the end user. That's what I'm going to say. If you care and you want to do the right thing and you're a fan, then import. Or if you can't afford to import, wait till you can purchase stock that are further away from such issues. I'm sure other issues will, you know, uh, become apparent. That's why I say this. You know, because there are reckless individuals out there that will not heed advice and um, 
you can very well continue to breed these dogs and not have a problem. But when you're working with an even tighter gene pool, you're going to have problems. I don't continue to import dogs because I feel like pissing my money down the drain. I continue to import dogs because the desire is to perfect the work. It is not uh, easy, it is not cheap, um, and it's, it's not a short-term project. I'm looking at the future. So I'll just throw it back to you. I'm not going to get into arguments with you guys this, this year. To be honest with you, I don't have the time for it. I don't have the heart for it. If the general public can't see, that's their problem. But all I know is this, is that I have faith and I'm very confident in what I'm doing. If you want to be part of the breed, just take a step back sometimes and just think, is what I'm doing. Who benefits from this? There's nothing wrong with you making money from it, if you deserve it. But who benefits? Is it the consumer? Is it the breed? Or is it me? And I think that when you start to put that head on, hopefully you start to make better decisions. You know, um, harmony is something that is very important. Um, it will never happen in this breed, a breed that's um, so diverse, um, steeped in so much uh, mystery. Um, we can't get union in the Labrador or the Golden Retriever or the Doberman, so the probability of getting it in the Bully Cutter is extremely slim. Again, what I'd say is this, is that with the new owners, you know, the importance of responsible upbringing, um, <laughs> Lorang, um, you know, your upload that I saw a couple of days ago, um, you know, it's beautiful to see this breed mixing with other dogs. And I genuinely believe that the attributes of the lines that I work with must accept other dogs. Because we all agree that this breed is a hunting breed. Even the Dugo Argentino, that's an apparent notorious dog, that dog will work in a pack or in a pair while hunting. Therefore, a dog within this breed that has excessive dog-on-dog -dog aggression is certainly not a dog that I want to be working with. I'm not suppressing the drive. A drive, prey drive, yes, it's welcome. But out-and-out -out dog aggression isn't welcome. And it's good to see a lot of the pups that are born, yes, socialising is a major factor, but also these are breeding true. We're seeing some excellent prey drive. I mean, Penny, uh, it's an a shocking outcome uh, from the breeding, the pairing of Abu and, and Zena. Uh, I'm my, it's just like my mind is blown away by the quality of the pups. And again, I thank God, you know, it gives you strength when your, you know, your resolve is tested by some unscrupulous characters out there. And thank you all so much for your support. You know, Push DVD is getting bigger, it's getting stronger. Um, and I start to ask myself the question, which is a concern for 2012, do I need to put myself in this situation? You know, my business is strong. My business module is strong, you know, um, I have a lot of backing, but you know, for me, a passion is a passion. And I tell you, and I put my hand on my heart, this is a passion. If I can make my money back, <laughs> well, praise be to God, praise be to Allah, if I can make my money back. And if I make a profit, then what a wonderful thing. Some truths have come out about how much I sell puppies for, yada, yada, yada. Well, reading between the lines, a money motivated and a greedy individual, would he do some of the things that I've done? Um, enough waffle with that. Um, and I'll finish this on a positive note. Um, love the breed, get involved, enjoy the breed, but res be responsible, be sensitive and think the long term. I would also like to just talk about Baju. You know, there's been a lot of speculation about Trixie, Baju. Um, Baju was never for sale initially. 
and Erwan Tuwan was someone that I chose because of his religious views and with, with the way that his family dealt with me, his uncle dealt with me, I felt that this was a, a suitable home. Uh, some people know and some people don't know. At that time, the transition point, I was already out of the breed. You saw me importing German Shepherds. The whole bullshit, that's the only adjective I can use, um, surrounding the breed just, you know, swayed me completely. Baju is not a dog that fails with Pooch DVD per se. He's a great dog for what he is. But for the quest, there are some immediate features that were not, how can I put it, not incredibly desirable. They weren't firing me from the gut when I compare him to a dog like Abu. Nevertheless, these are some physical attributes. Let's talk about some traits that that dog has. Great drive, great agility, great focus, great movement. You know, so it wasn't a, a, a quest to just abandon a dog. It was just looking at the exercise. That dog was initially given free. Initially, that dog was given free on the basis that, you know what, maybe in future, we would need to use him again. There's so many dogs that I can keep. And I just say to those that may have had concerns that, you know, is this a puppy mill? Surely, I would want to keep every dog. But, you know, keeping dogs is one thing. Loving the dogs you have and giving them appropriate care, time and attention is another. And once you start having a large number of dogs, the quality of care fails. And I will never put my dogs through that. Never. There are many people that have dogs with me and many of them call me uh, and thank me for, for you know, the opportunity. Um, so I just wanted to just talk, uh, sort of touch, touch on that just a little bit, just to help educate people. You know, I'm not giving up on my dogs, but I'll tell you what, I mean this so much and my standards are so high that if you do not tick the box, you are not going to be immediately involved. That's simply it. Yes, he, uh, Baju is a smaller dog. Yes, his head profile is slightly weaker, but there are other traits. You know, and if I say to myself, if I want a dog where I want to hunt something down, who would I choose? Baju would be at the forefront at this time. However, Abu, for me, temperament-wise, features-wise, Genetic transfer wise, that dog is more than a blessing, and I thank the Lord. Asad, Rizwan, Masood, many others, Don Von, I hope I don't you know miss anybody out. 0121. Um, God bless you guys, God bless the breed, God bless me, you know, with 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 you know so much positivity in my life, and, and I wake up every morning with zeal, well not every morning. After a bit of Nescafe, <laughs> we got MVP. You know who? who <laughs> we got MVP. You know that rap. Who's got an MVP? Yeah, you know me. Every last lady. MVP. I can't explain it. I take it frame by frame, man. Eh? <laughs> That's right. Okay. So please visit the website. Shop with me. Get involved. You know, argue sensibly, and all that type of. Vibe is welcome at Pooch DVD. I'm not a, a dictator, but if you come and talk shit this year, you will be met with shit. Finally, just saying a word up, muscle builder, BIS, weight gainer. It's miraculous, these products, you know. MVP, how can I explain it? I take it frame by frame, man. I got you all jumping out saying it. Who got an MVP? Yeah, you know me. Who got an MVP? Yeah, you know me. Every last doggy. <laughs> wow, I love you guys, man. Enjoy the clip. A lot of pictures this year. A lot of pictures. Um, you know, because I think the breed, there's a million words that are spoken in those pictures. Everywhere I'm at, everywhere I go, uh -huh. I stay surrounded by hoes. Even when I'm trying to be on the go. 
I'm recognized by hoes. Get down the lane, man. It's gotta be cause of Part the dough. Part one's a half. It's got to be cause of the dough. Cause the damn show wasn't like this before. Uh-huh. Street sweet. It wasn't sweet. like this before. Woo! Everywhere I'm at, everywhere I go. Come on. I stay surrounded by hoes. Uh-huh. Even when I'm trying to be on the low. Case, case, case. I'm recognized by hoes. Man, it's gotta be because of the dough. It's, of the it's dough. got to be because of the dough. Because the damn show wasn't Cut like this is. before. It wasn't like this before. I'm making hits now. Don't try to act like you ain't heard. I'm the shit now. So this change that they know I'm finna blow. You should see how they react when I come through the dough. In the club, my nigga, we finna ball out. Good till we fall out. Some shit jump off, nigga, we going all out. Shots big enough to tear the fucking wall out. I had your punk ass on the dance floor trying to crawl out. I had bad luck, then my luck changed up. You see the range, you see the rims all blazed up. You ain't hear what I charge for 16. I'm making a killing. These other bad niggas just catching feelings. Uh-huh. Everywhere I'm at, everywhere I go. Woo! I stay surrounded by hoes. Even when I'm trying to be on the low. I'm on the low. I'm recognized by hoes. Man, it's gotta be because of the dough. Gotta be. It's got to be because of the dough. Because the damn show wasn't like this before. It wasn't like this before. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Yeah, that's it, nigga. What the fuck you doing? <laughs> I ain't giving a nigga more than 16 in this motherfucking freestyle. The fuck you want for free, man? Y'all niggas be wanting a lot for free, man. Fuck the mother niggas. Y'all niggas can't rap. That's why they give you a hundred motherfucking bars for nothing, man. You know what I mean? Fuck that shit, man. I ain't gonna sit there rapping to you all night. Hey, what the fuck, man? Hey, yo. Shout out to the XL, nigga. Teamwork. We work hard, nigga. 50 cents. Oh. So this is a day in the park with uh, with Abu. We're just making some new friends. Yeah. What's your name? Sorry. Oh, oh yeah. So what do you think of the breed? Sorry. What do you think of the breed? Yeah. They're not. They're not. They're not common at all. Um, very rare uh, from Pakistan, really, and um, just trying to revive the breed. <laughs> Good boy. Even even still. It's a strange dog, boy, you know, there isn't, but just don't go around doing this with any dog. The other dog there isn't a, an aggressive dog, it's a, it's a lesser dog. So, yeah, you know, if, 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 if this, if this, if the dog was very aggressive towards Abu, then, you know, it, it the, you know, be something very different, but, you know, Abu, good boy, Timmy, good boy, well done. So, I hope you don't feel too intimidated. Yeah. So What? Yeah, intimidated. Quite right, rightly as well, you know. Even us humans, we feel intimidated by big people as well. So it's all about socialising. Well done, Abu. That's a very, very good response. Very, very good response. Yeah. Fact versus fiction. I'll let you, uh, I'll let you on your way. Yeah, that's right. Alright, okay, you take care, mate. Alright, bye. Uh, yeah. See you later. <laughs> Come on, Abu. Good boy, you did really well there. Really well there. Come on. Good boy. Good boy, you did really well there. You know, it's, um, it's just simply incredible to be able to walk around with, with this dog in an environment like this. You know, beautiful example. This dog's 21 months old. You know, 21 months old, you know, so responsive, you know, he won't leave my side. You yeah, look at the back end, you know, when we talk about stud dog, I mean, the qualities in this dog, look at the hocks, you know, it's just incredible. Look at the head profile. And you know what, we're just about to start see, to see, you know, how great this breed is, is just now at this age, you know. Instantly, if I just stop him and call him back, he'll come straight back. Abu, to me, boy. To me, boy. Abu, Abu, <laughs> Abu. When did you become deaf? Come on, son. That's a good boy. To me. Come on. Come on. Well done, son. Well done, son. Come on. I like seeing you run free. Let's go. So just a little update on uh, Penny, 
um, roughly eight, eight and a half weeks old, just teaching her the retrieve. Good girl! Good girl! See how much she looks like her dad. It's incredible. Good girl, Penny. Come here. Good girl. So one last throw, then we've got to go and edit this. Go on. Good girl. Good girl! Well done, Penny. Happy, healthy, good drive. Well done, darling. Well done, darling.